so regarding a glycogen storage disease uh, let's describe the whole pathway how glycogen form and glycogen degenerate so in order to uh, make gly uh, glycogen we use uh, glucose so glucose is converted uh, uh, glucose is converted into six phosphatase so in order to convert it into phosphatase we need to give it a phosphate group or uh, by an atp so we use glyc uh, glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme which converts glucose into glucose 6 phosphate phosphate glucose 6 phosphate is converted into glucose 1 phosphate by an enzyme known as uh, glucose 6 phosphate is converted into uh, converted into glucose 1 phosphate and we will describe that enzyme later on when we degrade that enzyme so now at uh, this glucose 1 phosphate uh, uh, group so this substrate is is converted into uh, it uses uh, an enzyme known as pyrophosphorylase enzyme and it uh, uses uh, uh, UDP UDP glucose and make uh, a glyco uh, and also uh, glucose 1 phosphate uses pyrophosphorylase enzyme to make UDP glucose UDP glucose make uh, uses synthase enzyme and uh, it synthesis what we need glycogen so it synthesis it this synthesis is glycogen synthase so glucose phos phos uh, glucose is phosphorylate to make glucose 6 phosphate this glucose 6 phosphate this phosphate group is transferred at the one position so now it becomes glucose 1 phosphate glucose 1 phosphate uses an enzyme known as pyro or iron related phosphorylase enzyme to make udp glucose and this udp glucose is then uses a synthase enzyme known as glycogen synthase to make main our substrate known as glycogen so in the uh, liver cell the glycogen is uh, uh, not only stored in a straight line but it is uh, again uh, uh, converted into uh, into some branch like structure so that it can use uh, for future it can use uh, uh, in the future so we use uh, an enzyme known as branching enzyme this enzyme branch this glycogen into long uh, 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 branch uh, uh, some branching uh, parts of uh, glycogen so this branching enzyme or this branching of glucose is activated or stimulated by increased level of insulin increased level of cortisol and increased level of g6 phosphate glucose 6 phosphate so this is how the glycogen is formed so in order to in order to release these the glycogen in order to debranch this enzyme in order to make glycogen usable to make look again glucose in the fasting stage or in the 14 hour of uh, fasting we had to go for glycogenolysis in order for glycogenolysis we need an enzyme known as uh, uh, phosphorylase enzyme phosphorylase enzyme phosphorylase enzyme or we can say glycogen phosphorylase which convert back glycogen into glucose 1 phosphate and this glucose 1 phosphate is then debranched here by a debranching enzyme to make glucose 6 phosphate which again 6 phosphatase enzyme use uh, uh, dissolve that phosphate group and release glucose so this is general pathway of uh, uh, glycogen formation and glycogenolysis
it goes here over here it can goes here so insulin stimulate that this process of branching part of glycogen so in contrast we use glucagon also we use epinephrine to de branch or to de phosphorylase this uh, uh, phosphorylase this glycogen to break this glycogen to make glucose or glycogenolysis also we use muscle amp so this three stimulators they uh, stimulate this pathway they stimulate phosphorylase to make uh, glucose from glycogen in addition to this we have also a limit dextron which is uh, just the glycogen branched part and uh, over here uh, it is important to describe this thing so over here we have glucose which is converted into glucose 6 phosphate by an enzyme known as phosphatase if this enzyme is deficient we have von Gerke disease then in glycogen for uh, glycogen uh, glycogen synthesis we use all these enzyme so when glycogen is phosphorylate if we have uh, absence of this enzyme we have macrol disease or herz disease and then if there is an absence of debranching enzyme we have the cori disease so this is all about uh, the glycogen pathway the next thing is cori disease and von gerke disease so we discuss it in a tabulated form von gerke disease or cori disease we have no glu gl glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme so no glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme so no glucose 6 phosphate the glucose 6 phosphate is cannot be converted back into uh, glucose so we cannot dissolve this phosphate group so glucose is not formed so there is a chance of hypoglycemia so we have no glu glycogenolysis we cannot break down the glycogen because the glycogen goes from glycogen phosphorylase to GIP1 debranching enzyme the end product is phosphorylase phosphatase G6P phosphatase G6P phosphatase to get that glucose so if the last step is inhibited by the absence of glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme then we have the disease known as von Gerke disease so there is no glucose 6 phosphatase no glycogenolysis there is no gluconeogenesis the body cannot form new glucose from the body reserves so there is fasting hypoglycemia we have no glucose but in von Gerke disease we have the severe form of fasting hypoglycemia so when they the body cannot make uh, uh, glucose the body go to lactate cycle so there is a, a increased level of lactate uh, blood lactate is increased there is a increased level of triacylglycerides and there is increased level of uric acid because uric acid is formed from protein there is increased breakdown of protein there is increased breakdown of anaerobic uh, fatty acid there is a increased level of anaerobic respiration so uric acid increase there is a risk of gout and then this excess glycogen which is not useful it is stored it is accumulated into the liver so glycogen is accumulated in the liver it is accumulated in the kidneys so there is a hepatorenomegaly in contrast to von Gerke disease in the Cori disease we don't have D branching enzyme so if we don't have the D branching enzyme 
एट दिस पॉइंट वी कैनॉट मेक वी कैनॉट डू ग्लाइकोजिनोलाइसिस वी कैनॉट वी कैनॉट ब्रेक दिस ग्लाइकोजिन बट वी कैन डू ग्लूकोनियोजेनिसिस सो वी वी डोंट हैव एनी fasting hypoglycemia so there is a mild fasting hypoglycemia uh, we can do gluconeogenesis so the lactate levels are normal but glycogen is not happening so uh, we increase again we break the fatty acid so we increase tag uh, there is also a chance of gout we increase level of uric acid so if the glycogen is not debranched so there is a chances of branch type of glycogen so that branch type of glycogen is known as limit dextrons and limit dextrons are uh, present in the accumulated in the body especially in the heart cell so cori disease is the is the, there is a cardiomegaly so there is increased chance of so the most diagnosed and diagnosing part of uh, uh, von gerke and cori is there is accumulation of limit dextron there is cardiomegaly there is normal lactate levels and there is intact gluconeogenesis rather uh, in the uh, von gerke disease we cannot do gluconeogenesis we are suffering from severe glu fasting hypoglycemia which can cause increase lactate and we have hepatorenomegaly so this is all about uh, the uh, this is all about the comparison between von gerke disease and cori disease the next one is we have um, the next problem is if we don't have the branching enzyme there is a small addition in the 2001 uh, segment we have anderson disease in which we have no branching enzyme so we cannot store the glycogen we increase level of uh, uh, glyco there is increased level of glycogen which is stored into the liver so there is a hepatomegaly after these two we have uh, the next condition is so we we have discussed uh, von gerke and cori disease now we discuss uh, glycogen phosphorylase absent so in hers disease or macrol disease we have the macrol disease we have the hers disease we don't have glycogen phosphorylase if we don't have glycogen phosphorylase we have increased level of glycogen we cannot use glycogen so there is a, there is a hypoglycemia in the body hypoglucose but in macrol disease we have this hypoglycemic state when we exercise when there is increase Uh, activity in the body we need more glucose so at the point of exercising muscle we need more glucose we cannot phosphorylase the glycogen present or stored in the body so at exercising state when we just exercise we have this crampy like situation we have myoglobin urea there is urine condition kidney condition type of macrol disease so macrol is a muscular problem whereas whenever the person ha is suffering from hers disease then it is a hepatic problem h4 hers h4 hepatic so there is the absence of glycogen phosphorylase phosphorylase in the hepatocyte which can causes fasting hypoglycemia and the problem is under the uh, hepatomegaly so the liver is enlarged the liver is uh, having a large amount of glycogen so the glycogen is not being used so in differentiating between hers and macrol disease m4 macrol m4 muscle myo 
and uh, H4 herds and H4 hepatic. So if there is a hepatic glycogen phosphorylase absence, then we cannot use that glycogen. The glycogen is stored into the liver. We have hepatomegaly and also we have fasting hypoglycemia. But if a person has hepatic type of glycogen phosphorylase is okay. It can use that glucose in fasting type of uh, fasting type of state, but it cannot use it muscular uh, glycogen phosphorylate. So when the muscle need that glycogen to be broken down, then that uh, uh, muscle is then broken down into the uh, into the body. Uh, there is release of myoglobin muscle protein which can secrete it into the urine. Then the problem is causing cramps and myoglobin urea. These are the differentiating factor. So uh, the next thing is uh, in uh, in addition to McDonald, we have also important uh, uh, important uh, type of uh, things we have uh, here uh, electrolyte electro light abnormalities these electrolyte abnormalities can cause heart problem or arrhythmia we have a flat venous lactate level there is no rising of because we have intact hepatic glycogen phosphorylase which cannot make us fasting hypoglycemic so we have flat venous lactate curve with with normal normal rise in ammonia on exercise which shows that we have intact hepatic glycogen phosphorylase so there is increase muscle blood flow on exercise which can cause uh, which can be known as second wind phenomenon so this is about macrod and hers disease we have discussed macrod we have discussed hers disease we have discussed anderson disease cori and von garke disease the last is uh, the last disease is pompe disease pompe Pompe is from uh, the Pompe type of uh, uh, in the historic segment of uh, uh, a village or a town which is also represented in a Loki season that, that the destruction of Pompe. So the Pompe word is given by uh, I, I think the Pompe is the scientist or maybe it is given by at the, uh, the area. So in the Pompe disease we have no debranching enzyme but this debranching enzyme is related to lysosomal so we have no debranching lysosomal acid maltase which can cause cardiomegaly problem so pompe or pump so pump like problem is in uh, pompe disease so acid maltase and lysosomal these three uh, important clues so this is all about uh, the glycogen storage diseases the glycogen uh, structure the glycogenolysis the glycogenolysis and uh, the glyco gluco uh, the glycogenesis so this is all about glycogenesis and glycogenolysis